They are out there, lurking just out of sight, until they make their presence known. Rattlesnakes have a dangerous reputation, but the threat is exaggerated. Rattlers just want you to leave them alone. Give them a wide berth and they'll do the same. But if a rattlesnake is surprised, it may strike in self-defense, and its bite can be lethal. The vast majority of snake bite victims survive their encounter. Only a handful die each year. The deciding factor is time. If you're bitten by a rattlesnake, what should you do? A. Hack the wound with ice. B. Keep the wound immobilized below the heart. Or C. Suck out the poison with your mouth. The correct answer is B. Keep the wound immobilized below the heart. Hacking the wound with ice and sucking out the poison with your mouth do little to slow down the venom. They can actually cause more harm than good. Rattlesnake venom causes extreme pain and swelling, so it's important to stay calm and stay focused. Keep the wounded area still and below the heart to help slow the spread of the venom. Then immediately call 911 or go to the hospital. And that's how you survive a rattlesnake bite.